Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, an interesting couple of days. Uh, I thought I would not dive straight in with a Dillian White drug scandal video straight away because I'm a firm believer that you don't, what's the word, you don't hang somebody until you know you, you start knowing a bit more information now I'm not going to make a judgment on it because I'm the last person to start judging people about failed drug tests uh, I, I, I can't I can't go on about things like that but I'm also not running around punching people in the head am I or getting punched in the head and getting up so I'd like to think I've got a good relationship with Mark Tibbs and his dad, so I'm going to choose my words very diplomatically and try not to upset people, but I am not happy about this whole situation. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, right, Dillian White failed a drug test in the week leading up to the Rivers fight. He failed the drug test and I can explain it. They they've it's very really hard to explain this. He's failed the drug test, Danny, right, and they've not told Rivers about it, right? Why is that? Why is that? Now Rivers knocked him down in round nine and he got up. Is that because he's had performance enhancing drugs inside his system? I don't know. But uh, something's not right in it. Something is not right. Something stinks. I mean, Coogan Cassius has not said anything. Uh, they left that Scotch guy to interview Eddie Hearn. There's a uh, boxing social interviewed Ed, uh, Eddie Hearn and then put a, a thing that were pinned to the comment section on YouTube saying that this is not a dig at Dillian White. Well, why not? Well, what is it then? If you're even giving it airtime, right? Rob Tevert gave it airtime, didn't he? So, as far as I'm concerned, the B sample will come back positive. In drug testing history in boxing, no B sample has ever come back negative because what happens is this, for you, those of you that don't know, the boxer pisses in a cup. The cup is then poured into two test tubes. That's it. Just like in prison when you get an MDT, mandatory drug test, it's poured into two tubes and they're both sent off. Now, one of them's positive and the other one, that will be positive as well. Now, I think Dillian White is in massive, massive trouble. But there's no consistency with these drug tests, is there? Liam Cameron, one coke test. What did he get? Two year ban. Tyson Fury, Nandrolone, coke test and a refusal. That's, that's free tests then, isn't it? Pleaded guilty, got a two year back date of ban. So, people that said I didn't comment about the Yui Fury one, I don't know what happened with that, it's shrouded in mystery. If it's there for me to comment on, I will. But, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? So, I don't know what to make of it all. Uh, I think it's a bit of a mess. Uh, I think it's a bit of a mess, but the funny thing is, <laughs> I went by uh, the same area that Ern lives in the other night, and I ended up coming up, I got home about 8.30am from Basildon, but I, I, were over that, I were down that way, and I thought, shall I go knock on Eddie's door and ask him how he is, but <laughs> and then, as I'm coming off the motorway, off the motorway, uh, I got a 
te texting on my phone telling me about Dillian White, so I, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, Dillian White got a two year ban in 2012 till 2014 for taking an illegal substance. Now, should Dillian White be a little bit more careful with what he takes? Yes. Is Dillian White a drug cheat? I don't know, I don't know him. But he's had a two year ban before and now he's failed another test, so what, what, does that make him a drug cheat? No, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, but if Dillian White gets a six month ban or a nine month ban, what, what, where does that leave boxing? I don't know. We need to know more facts before anything comes out. But I think Eddie Hearn coming out and saying what he said that, yeah, both boxers were tested extensively and, uh, we're working with authorities to, to get a, 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 a result to this and move forward and all. What a load of crap. So, I don't know, but it's too early, isn't it, for anybody to comment, but is there going to be a cover-up? I don't know. Do I care? No. Are any of these people going to buy my house for me? No. So, and let, it, let, let, and let me... Uh, be, f be financial free for the rest of my life? No, they're not going to do, are they? So why should I give a fuck? So, it is what it is, isn't it? But, do I feel sorry for Dillian White? No, I feel sorry for Mark Tibbs, who's gone 10 and 0 with him. 10 fights, 5 knockouts. Uh, is Dillian White coming to the end of his career? Well, he's 32 next birthday. He's just gone two life and deaths with Chisora, a life and death with Parker, and a life and death with Oscar Rivers. He's had four pay-per-views. He's not beat a champion. The only belt that he's got is a British champ, is a British title, and wasn't that a vacant belt Was it against Dave Allen or Ian Lewinson? One of those. I think it might have been Ian Lewinson. Don't quote me on that because I haven't checked. I think the Dave Allen one might have not, not got sanctioned, but so it might have been Ian Lewinson. But the way I see it is this, Dillian White is an overachiever. Four pay-per-views, he's got a world-class trainer, but his world-class trainer and team around him, they can't do the fighting for him. And I think Dillian White is a little bit weak around the whiskers. I don't think he's got a stronger beard as what he says. He's been dropped by Joshua a few times. He's been dropped by Parker, Rivers, so, but he's a tough, tough kid with a world class left hook. But he's had four pay per views and not fought for a European title, so that's overachievement in this day and age. Uh, where, it, where this leaves his career, I don't know. I don't know at all, but it's up to him, isn't it? But if he's been taking summer and it's on banned list, where he's knackered, isn't he now? He's gonna have to kiss the baby now, isn't he? So it is where it is, isn't it? But so all them people that are saying, Porky, you bottled it! You wouldn't do a Dillian White story on this drug issue. Why not? I'm not afraid of anybody. I've heard a little rumour that uh, Dean Luther Vandross White, we call him Luther in our office, I've heard a story that Luther is uh, very quiet on the issue and he's usually got plenty to say, hasn't he, Luther? Every time you see Luther, he's got his head in a camera. Everybody wants to be a star, don't they? <laughs> Luther ought to get his own YouTube channel up, didn't he? Uh, no, seriously. It's his brother, isn't it? He's going to defend his brother. And I think people nowadays are quick to uh, to uh, to blame. And I, and I don't think Dillian White's in a good position, really, is he? Because all fans are going to hate Eddie Hearn, aren't they? They don't like him, do they? Even, even his boxers don't fucking like him, do they? We all know he comes in dressing room, don't we? He shakes everybody at everybody's hand. And then he walks out and everybody says, what a cunt. So, but he's always going to cop that because he's the pantomime villain, isn't he, Eddie Earn? 
احتمام جنت but uh, well we're gonna we're gonna see aren't we now we're gonna see what what happens but Dillian's gonna get stick because you know who his promoter is but if that B sample comes back positive you watch how he's treated off Matchroom then. Matchroom will be coming out with things like, oh, he's not a Matchroom fighter. We just had him on a fight-by-fight -fight deal. He's not a Matchroom fighter. You're going to hear rubbish about that. I don't think they're going to give him an eight-year ban. He's, he's, he's on, he's on pay-per-view, isn't he? He's doing pay-per-views. He's doing pay-per-views, so... They're not going to give him an eight-year ban. Uh, that's just to scare everybody, but, like I said, it's second time, isn't it, now? But, I expect Dillian White to now go missing for 12 months and ride out the storm. I think he'll do what Yui Fury did. He'll ride it out and uh, then come back and fight Wilder. It'll all be forgot about. Luis Ortiz has been done a few times. Povetkin, they never came down on them, did they? Because they had big promoters behind behind them. Dillian White's got a big promoter behind him. I don't see anything happening. Uh, we don't know what the drug is yet, so we can't be quick to criticise. I'm trying to be diplomatic here. But uh, it is what it is. And it's not a Jarrell Miller situation. Yet yeah, I agree with Eddie Earn on that. What I don't fucking agree with is Eddie Earn crying last week, week before and for many months about people are getting killed in the ring blah de blah de blah and things have to be done and that's not fair and I happen to be Anthony Joshua's friend and Gerald Miller took this, took that, then denied it and listen, Eddie Earn, right? You are a bitch. You said all that and then your guy failed the test and your cop out is we're waiting for B sample. The B sample is the fucking A sample. They only check the B sample to see if there's a bit of contamination in the tubes. That's why they're going to check it. It's still the same piss. You piss in a cup and they pour it into two tubes. It's... <laughs> Listen. Everybody I ever knew in jail who failed a piss test for cannabis, right? Never once, never once got a negative on the B sample. They only, they only dragged it out if they had like a few months left in the sentence so they didn't have to do the extra month. So I can see this B sample being dragged out forever. I hope it isn't. I hope they clear it up. And I hope Dillian White can move on with his career because... You know, it's not just going to affect Dillian White if he gets banned. It's going to affect the, t the people around him, isn't it? It's going to affect his training team. It's going to affect his brother, who's carving out a bit of a career for himself in boxing off at back of his bro off back of back of Dillian, isn't he? So it's going to affect his brother Dean. He's done nothing wrong, has he? Mark Tibbs has done nothing wrong. So Mark Tibbs and Luther, what, what, what? Why should they be punished? Why should Dillian White's family be punished, or his kids, or whoever? Why should Eddie Aim be punished? He didn't take the substance, did he? Till we know what the substance is, we can't we can't have a go, but we we'll just have a look at this here. A couple of things here. Dillian White failed drug, drug test. Board let him fight. The British Boxing Board of Control. The Boxing Board of Control let Dillian White fight, yeah? So we all agree with that, don't we? Right. Why did the why did the board of control let him fight? Eh? Why? Why did they? The test could be something or nothing. That's true. Is the hate that bad for Eddie Hearn that fans want White to be found guilty? <laughs> yeah. I'd go along with that. I'd go along with. These are all questions that I've jotted down from my text messages or from a couple of my close pals. Uh, Hatman strikes back and sporting icons are out in force now, but let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. These are all what I wrote down last night and, and through the day uh, yesterday when I got back from uh, Essex. Trolls on YouTube who hide behind accounts having digs 
that I've not yet hammered. Why? Are you in for a shot? Oh, people keep sending uh, emails and quotes, don't they, on YouTube, directed at me, saying, oh, you'll not do a Dillian White video and blah de blah I can assure you, right? I'm doing one now, and if Dillian White deserves to be hammered, he, de he deserves to be hammered, but... We don't. We can't condemn a man that, that's innocent till, till found guilty. They're not coming out saying they're innocent, but they're not saying they're coming out guilty. So it's a bit too early to be making judgment. And this is why a lot of people are not making comments. People on YouTube are hammering them. Yeah, they're hammering Eddie Earn because what would have happened if Oscar Reavers would have died? What would have happened then? I mean, Eddie Hearn keeps saying, people die in the ring. Yeah, people do die in the ring. But yeah, why would you risk it? Your guys just failed a test, right, for performance enhancing drugs. And you're applying to the board to still fight. I don't get that. It's pretty callous. And what about the punishment that Rivers took? I mean, I'm already hearing that they're saying to Rivers' team, we're going to work with you down the line, we're going to smooth everything, we want to work with you, you're a great fighter. Now that, I have heard, is gospel. Now, I'm going to find out in the next couple of days if I can quote this kid on that. That is gospel. Now, just like they did with Parker, just like they did with Povetkin, so, listen, he dropped Dillian White, didn't he? So Eddie Hearn, is going to be thinking, did Dillian White take something to get up from that? Well, obviously he did, didn't he? Eddie knew he had, but he was only one in arena that fucking knew, wasn't he? Eddie Hearn was the only one in that arena, apart from Dillian White, that knew that he'd failed a drug test. And Rivers wasn't told. And I'm angry about that. Fucking fuming. But I'm glad Dillian White won. But I am angry that Eddie Hearn can come out with such hypocrisy. What would have happened, like I've just said, if Rivers died? I mean, you've got a promoter here, right? You've got a promoter. I'm doing my pinhead look now. You've got a promoter. Knowingly, knowing that his fighter has failed a drug test a few days before the fight. So why it's failed a drug test? This is where we're coming from with this. And Eddie Hearn knew, but yet Eddie Hearn didn't want to tell Rivers. What does that make Eddie Hearn? I'll tell you what it makes him. A cunt. C-U-N-T. A cunt. And I know Nicola don't like that word. And I don't like it. Especially if people are calling me it, but... Eddie Hearn, you are a cunt. That's what you are, a cunt. Doing that to Rivers. I think that's in bad taste. Do I think the fight should have been cancelled? Yes, because if Rivers... What if Rivers throws a wobbler now and says he's got bad headaches from the fight with, Ed, with Dillian White? Who's to say he ain't going to do that? Who's to say Rivers isn't going to do that? Eh? Who's to say that? So, as far as I'm concerned, if Rivers would have died in that ring, Dillian White's on a fucking murder charge, let me tell you. And what's Eddie Heard on? He's on a fucking manslaughter charge, isn't he? But the pay-per-view sales and all their expenditure for production and all the arena, they had to go through with the fight, didn't they? Now did they fuck? Do you know what they could have done? They could have got just somebody for Dillian White to knock over and give everybody who bought a ticket a fucking discount on the on the on the cards. Give everybody a 50% discount and cancel the fucking pay-per-view so all Skyview has got the money back. That's what Eddie Earns should have fucking done. But he didn't, did he? He fought her money. Because like I said, it's all pointing towards Eddie Earn leaving Sky. Why? Because he's going to be with his own, isn't it? It's all pointing towards him leaving Sky and ringing, and I mean fucking ringing, every fucking penny that they can out of it. Do you know what I mean? Ian Doyle once told me, right, his manager, Stephen Hendry, he once said that Barry Earn 
wrung as much money as he could out of snooker and then some. And that's just what they're doing with boxing, isn't it? They're ringing as much as they can out of They've took Dillian White as far as they can go now. Because if that B sample comes back, technically he should be fucked if he comes back guilty. But I very much doubt it. He's a pay-per-view star. Pay-per-view stars don't get pay-per-view stars. Do not get big bans. If he gets a year ban, it don't matter because he were going to wait for his mandatory anyway. So I can assure you this is what's going to happen. Dillian White's going to sit it out a year and they'll come to some sort of arrangement. That's what I think will happen. He's a pay-per-view star. He's putting bums on seats. He does numbers. So they're telling us. So, but we can't be too hard on Dillian White until we know what drug it is and the full facts. But I can assure you that they all might want to stay out of the way for a bit. Dillian White is now mandatory for Wilder, so he's not going to want to risk his position, is he? He's going to stay out of the way unless it's a knockover job. That's what I think on the matter. Uh, I think I've got a few text messages off my pal. Hang on, I've turned my phone off. Uh, but, like I said, it is what it is, isn't it? It's, uh, it's not looking, it's not looking good, is it, for, for Dillian White? But, like I said, look at Canelo. Look at Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury had three issues with it, three, over a period of time. And he got two year backdated, but all he did on his backdated was go out partying anyway, so... Tyson had last laugh because he's a big name. Canelo had last laugh, he's a big name. Now Eddie Hearn was screaming the other day about Manny Pacquiao and drug tests and people thinking he's a cheat. When all along he's screaming that but yet he knew about White's test. But he thought it were buried, didn't he? Which brings me to the Robin Reed Kenny Anderson issue. Now Matchroom, in 33 years, 33 year have only had three drug issues in 33 year the first one in 2012 seven year ago seven and a half year ago were Kenny Anderson against Robin Reed for British title now the test got buried by the border control and Eddie Hearn if I'm wrong Eddie pick up the phone border control pick up the phone Robin Reed's got paperwork as proof. There that Eddie Earns reply was, well you were retiring anyway, weren't you? Well, it would have been nice to be to, to put that wrong right. It would have been nice for Robin Reed to fight Paul Smith for vacant British title, wouldn't it? It would have been nice, don't you think? But uh, Tony Dodson I think ended up fighting for it, but and Paul Smith. Bottom line is Kenny Anderson never fought again and I don't think Robin Reed fought again. Why? Because Kenny Anderson failed the test on the Matchroom show. Now, the other test, well, yet Jarrell Miller, a Matchroom fighter, wasn't he? Or Matchroom promoter guy. So, what happened with that? Eddie hung him out to dry, didn't he? Eh? He didn't, hung, he didn't hang Robin Reed out to dry, he just forgot to fucking tell him. It was Kenny Anderson's team that told Robin in end. How bad is that? Robin Reed had to find out of Kenny Anderson's fucking team. Hey? Eddie Hearn didn't even have fucking front to ring Robin Reed and tell him. You know why? Because Robin Reed knocked one of Eddie Hearn's mates out, didn't he? Is it Cadman? So, but well, it is what it is, isn't it? Bottom line is, Eddie Hearn's going to do the best for Eddie fucking Hearn. He's going to look after himself. If Dillian White's failing a drug test, you know what Eddie Hearn's going to do, don't you? Fucking hell, what about the show? What about me 20%? What about all commercial? It's a fucking nightmare. Anybody else fails a drug test, he hangs them out to dry. The silence on this is fucking golden, let me tell you. Silence on this is golden. Right, listen to this. Read this out to you now. Right. Have a look. Are you ready for this? Can you handle this? Right, here we go. Uh, have a look. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Eddie Hearn was slagging off USADA, US Drug Testing Authorities, for not informing governing bodies if a fighter fails a test. Seems to me, or oh, seems like, they knew that White had failed his A sample, but they went ahead with the show, pay per view, and didn't report it to the WBC. So you can't have it both ways, Eddie. Seems like Hearn is now seeking a court injunction and trying to get the newspapers to stop printing the story. There you go. Eddie has subsequently denied that. Can I, where did I get that word subsequently from? One of my America. Oh, well, America, all white needs to know. Yeah, all, all white needs to do now is go out the weekend, do some blow, gain twenty pounds, and then find Jesus. Everyone will love him and forget he is a cheat. <laughs> I think somebody's having a pop at Tyson Fury there. Yeah. Uh, then we've got the uh, Josh Waddington's dad winning thirty thousand quid on the uh, postcode lottery, like he needs it, but I like Sean O'Hagan, it's nice. Is it true that a matchroom fighter has never tested positive before whilst at matchroom? Yeah, I think Gerald Miller would eat matchroom though. Kenny Anderson, I don't know if he had a deal with matchroom. He failed after the fight with Robin Reed, and Yarrow Miller failed before Joshua's fight. Yeah, Jarrell Miller, you could say, Kenny Anderson and Dillian White, if it's true. Can't, uh, the question that I have is, why is the promoter so cosy with UKAD that they'd inform him and not the governing body? That is a very good point, Rico. Why? Would UKAD inform Eddie Hearn first and not the governing body? That's because Eddie Hearn's paying for the test, isn't it? And Dillian White. So if it, had, if it hadn't have leaked, nobody would have fucking known about it, would they? Also, why didn't Eddie Hearn inform Team Rivers? That's true. If Dillian White's B sample comes back positive, will they sue Matchroom? Yes. They're already on with it now. I've been told secretly, but I'm going to let that cut out of the bag, but I'm not going to say you. Big powerful people in boxing are now cozying up to Oscar Rivers because they want to do their best for Oscar Rivers. They didn't give a fuck about him the other night, but now all of a sudden they want to do the best for him because they're going to go after Matchroom now. And do you know why? I'm going to tell you why, shall I? They're going to go after Eddie Hearn because he's rubbed every fucker up the wrong way. That's fucking why. Now let's see if Dillian White gets chucked under a bus by Eddie Hearn if the B-sample comes back. You can bet your bottom dollar he'll get thrown under a bus. It'll be a big double-decker bus. There'll be him and Lufa straight under it. No messing about. Have a look at whether Gareth A. Davis and co have covered this. If it's not, it's a media conspiracy. Why ain't Gareth A. Davis come out and said something about this? Boxing scene, they had the balls to have a go, didn't they? But Cliff Rold, the editor of the boxing scene, he can't stand Eddie Earn anyway, can he? So go on, Cliff. Yeah, they've all covered it now. Gareth A. Davis is saying that White's management team, his promoter Eddie Hearn, failed to respond when the Daily Tele the Telegraph, is it Daily Telegraph newspaper got got in touch with them? They didn't want to respond. So Yeah, 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 it's all not looking good, is it? It's not looking good at all, is it? Thomas Hauser interview. He's come out and he's said his bit on it, what he wants done. Uh, Dillian White underwent an hearing in front of 
NADP panel just hours before his win over Rivers and he now faces an eight year suspension after testing positive for a banned substance. Why wouldn't they tell Rivers? He could have got seriously hurt. Why didn't he tell Rivers? He could have seriously got hurt. And Eddie Hearn, why didn't they say anything to Rivers' team? They could have had blood on their hands. Yes, very good point, Rico. So apparently it can take over a year for UKAD to come out and publish its results. Yes, that's true. Get in touch with Robin Reed. He will tell you about that. And like I just said to you, it's the same scenario what Eddie Hearn did to Robin Reed with the Kenny Anderson issue. Robin Reed, and this is going under the fucking radar, this. The Robin Reed issue with Kenny Anderson is, is the same one with Dillian White Rivers. Robin Reed is Rivers. Kenny Anderson is Dillian White. It's the same fucking scenario. But the only difference is Eddie Hearn got found out this time, didn't he, after a fucking week. Do you know why? Because there were a leak. Because he's pissed that many people off. Whereas a few years ago, nobody gave a fuck about Robin Reed, did they? 40, what was he, 40 year old? 40 year old he was, Robin. Do you know what I mean? He, he, he was on Scrappy, wasn't he, at the time? And he, he won't mind me saying that. He'll still think that he had plenty left in the tank. But he was on Scrappy, wasn't he, at 40. Former champion, Olympic medalist, former world champion, WBC, uh, and IBO world champion. Fighting for a British title as an underdog. Who would give a fuck about him? But Eddie Hearn threw Kenny Anderson on the bus. He didn't want to wait for him, did he? There's two sides to every story. Robin Reed is the Oscar Rivers, and Robin said, you know what? Fuck it. He never sued anybody, he moved on. Kenny didn't have fuck all to sue anyway. And Robin probably didn't have the money to sue Eddie Hearn and British fucking Boxing Board of Control, who should be a fucking shame. Yeah, you fucking Robert Smith, you cunt. Should be fucking ashamed of yourself. So... But yeah, Eddie's just done one with IFL. Yeah, Eddie did a 10 minute one with that Scotch guy off IFL, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? Smug as he fucking was. The world's wankiest summer suit. So... But look, it is what it is, isn't it? They've covered it up, right? They covered Robin Reed, Kenny Anderson up. They covered up this, but they got fucking caught, didn't they? Now, if the B sample's negative, well, what's that tell you? It'd be the first one in legal history in boxing where it's been negative. So, but as far as I'm concerned, they didn't cancel the fight. They will ride out the storm, collect the pay-per-view money, Dillian White will take his ban and he'll come back. And that's basically it in a nutshell, really. He won't be banned for long. He's a pay-per-view star, isn't he? So it could be a mistake. When what boxers have you ever seen come out and say things like, "Yeah, I'm guilty. I wanted to knock his block off. I'm in a fucking hard fight here. I need every fucking cheat I can get." Not one boxer's ever come out and said that. But also on the other side of the coin, not one B sample's ever come back negative. What if the B sample comes back negative? Then what? I'm going to have Luther coming around here strangling me. <laughs> hey, boom, boom! Look, it is what it is, isn't it? There you go. You've got your video, aren't me? All them gimps from Gimpville Island who keep leaving messages saying, Porky, you didn't do a video! Listen, oh, Porky, your videos are late. Yeah, I know the videos are late, but. We're not in it for views. We're just in it to get our opinion out. I'll put the videos out when I want to send them. All right? They'll get they'll get uploaded when Nicola wants to upload it. It isn't a race to get things out quick. Do you know what I mean? We're not we're not in poor house here like all the rest of them who are doing channels. They've all got big overheads traveling around the country, licking arseholes. I don't lick arseholes. I just say when I I say what I want. I go where I want and I put my fucking videos out where I want. I've surrounded myself with good people so I can do what I want. So if the videos are late, I do apologise. Uh, I'm probably going to have to do a course on how to upload videos because I'm a bit illiterate and stuff like that. But whether they're late or not, it doesn't matter. I've got a hardcore audience and that's how I want to keep it. I don't want any casuals creeping in. 
So, but like I said, onwards and upwards. But I think it's all in bad taste. The moral of the story is this. Eddie Hearn, if he were in a court of law, the prosecution would say to him, Edward Hearn, did you inform Rivers of the failed drug test? And Eddie Hearn will say, no, Your Honour, I didn't. And then the prosecution will say, well, why didn't you inform him, Eddie? Don't you think that your client failing performance enhancing drugs weak of the fight? Don't you think that's dangerous? Well, what can Eddie say to that? He can only say, well, yeah, it is dangerous. If he says, no, it isn't, he'll get hammered. If he says, yeah, it is, he'll say, well, why didn't you tell him? So he is then part of that party. He is then party to a fucking manslaughter if the guy would have died, isn't he? Am I right? You fucking bet your bottom dollar I'm right. But so what's the common denominator? Why didn't he tell Rivers? Maybe he did tell Rivers. Maybe he went and told him and said, look, he's failed the test, we're gonna send we're gonna send B sample, you're still gonna get paid, but we're gonna pay you a bit extra. Maybe he did pay him. And maybe he might have even signed Rivers up. Because we all know he had fucking options on him, don't you? Don't we? So Rivers is hardly gonna be screaming it front rafters, is he? He's not made one statement yet if you Google it. So Rivers is probably tied to Eddie Earn, isn't it? They'll have all gun listen, they will have all bases covered. If that were Dennis Hobson, do you know what he would have done? He would have said, Porky, what do you reckon? Uh, if Dennis, let's say Dennis Hobson's got Richard Towers and the fighting Rivers in a pay-per-view. And he said, Porky, Richard's failed a, 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 a drug test. What do you think we should do? Do you think we should tell Rivers? And I just said, well, I don't know. What do you think? So what, I mean, what do I know? I just said, oh, what? And Dennis is going to do what he wants anyway. Dennis would have said, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go see Rivers and we'll tie him up with options. We'll tie him to us and then he can't say for call. But we all know that everybody in boxing industry knew that Rivers has got a deal with Eddie Hearn where win or lose, he were going to be fighting on match room anyway. And now he's dropped Dillian White. He's a serious contender, isn't he? White's the mandatory and Rivers dropped him in a life and death fight. So now they're going to build this up into a rematch. He'll have to rematch Rivers now. I am fucking telling you now they're going to rematch him. So Eddie Hearn will turn a negative into a positive. Do you know how? Because he's got Sky, hasn't he? That's the platform. And he's got IFL, Behind the Gloves, and Boxing Social, the big three, Fight Hype, and all the rest of them. They've all got the tongues up his arsehole. He's got the platforms. He's not going to come on my fucking channel let me, and let me interview him. Because you know all I'll say to him is this. Question one, why have you put pay-per-view up? Question two, why wasn't Joshua fighting anybody? Question three, why is Dillian White fighting people in non-title fights and none of them born in England but yet they're fucking all pay-per-view? And question four, why didn't you tell Rivers about this drug test? You keep going on about it, it's dangerous, drug tests and all this, but you didn't fucking tell Rivers, did you? Or why didn't you fucking pull the fight and just put somebody else in to fight Rivers? Why didn't you do that? Heavyweights don't have to make weight. Or why didn't you turn it into a non-pay-per-view fight and put Rivers in with somebody else and pull White from the fucking card? If he's cheating and it's an if because we're waiting for B sample, aren't we? Stinks to fucking I heaven. It stinks to I heaven. But what can you do? There's no, there's no I can do about it. I'm not the governing body, I'm not the British Boxing Board of Control. But you've got to look at it like this. If Rivers is going to sue somebody now, and I can assure you, something will be happening. I don't know what, but something will be happening whereas Rivers is going to get looked after. He'll be getting looked after, so... And it'll probably cost them, but this is how I look at it now, right? It, it just leaves boxing in an even bigger mess, and do you know what? People's true characters are coming out, aren't they? Eddie Hearn's coming out now as a as a, a very, very greedy, greedy man. Dillian White's coming out and, and his team, they're not saying anything. Now that's Dillian and his brother. They're, they're gone quiet, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Adam Smith, what has he said? They've battered up the hatches. What can they fucking say? It's one of their own, isn't it? It's come home to roost. 
And then do you know what and do you know what other people are gonna say? The septics, because let's get ready. Frank Warren is now weirding his fucking column for Saturday morning, isn't he? Frank Warren is sharpening his pencil and he'll be saying things like Well why did he sign Dillian White in first place? I'll tell you why. Because Dillian White beat Anthony Joshua in the amateurs. That's why he signed him. And then he got a bit of momentum after the Joshua fight. And they kept trying to build it up. And then he went in a different direction, Dillian, didn't he? And he didn't want to fight Joshua because he got the profile off the back of it. So they're all looking after the send. The common denominator is pay-per-view fights. Who has Eddie Hearn got who's pay-per-view? Dillian White and Joshua, that's it. What are the other pay-per-views he's doing? Lomachenko against Luke Campbell. That's everybody paying to see Lomachenko. Luke Campbell's not a pay-per-view star. So, oh, Usek, they'll put him in one soon, won't they? He's a big attraction, but they're not English fighters, are they? It's got more of an international European feel to it now, hasn't it? He's got no big stars. If Joshua bails out boxing and Dillian White gets banned, where's Eddie Hearn go? So, all right. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport, and uh, I'm now off to uh, have a game of snooker, it's an hard life isn't it, it's a very very hard life, so... <clears throat>